You know, I would say that the organizations like ISNet World and um, and Aveda and, and a few others, uh, Veriforce, um, you know, these are organizations that really cater to kind of a high touch. Hey, you know, send us uh, the third party all of your information, and then we will have people look it over and read it and decide whether or not this is you know right or or, or wrong, and then we'll. Um, you know, pass that information along to the owners who, who are ultimately the ones who need it. All right. So um, that's, uh, and it's mostly a model for, and there is some training involved, but it is mostly a model for collecting documents and IDs and things like that. So um, that's a that's kind of the, the part that those companies play in. And then for an organization like the Safety Council, they're more focused on the training aspect of it. And so I think there's a little bit of a disconnect there because there is uh, this training aspect, which is necessary for anybody to do work on site. And then there's this also this kind of document verification and, um, you know, uh, like people reviewing information on the other side of it. And, you know, it's, it's a bit disconnected because you really need both in order to do work. But then when you show up, you have to kind of check multiple places. And if there is... Um, I think one drawback of the kind of high touch model of having a third party, you know, review things for you and tell you whether or not things are correct is that, okay, well, that sounds great. I'm having someone else do your work for you. It generally sounds pretty good, but I think making it um, not a self-serve model, I think has the drawback of it's hard to do anything that, well, if there is an error or if there is information that's missing or you know, if there's something that needs to change last minute and you know, unpredictable things happen all the time, there's not much flexibility there. I mean, you can't reasonably expect a third-party organization that is you know, validating you know, documents and whatnot to be you know, doing that around the clock and be able to do it you know, on a dime when you, when you want them to, right? So if somebody shows up at 6 a.m. and they don't have the right right documents or there's some sort of, you know, there's information that's missing. There's not a lot you can do about it if you're relying on a third party to, to take care of that for you. And so we're really leaning into more of like a self-service model where um, the information, we facilitate the transfer of information and we help you verify it easily. But uh, ultimately, you know, it's coming to you. So it's not coming to us. And then, you know, we're telling you what's uh, what's correct and what's not.